Thank you for joining us for today's national workshop on how to publish scholarly books and open access. Jointly, Taylor and Francis Group and Alama Iqbal Library, University of Kashmir has organized. Taylor and Francis is one of the leading research publishers in the world. Its key components includes Taylor and Francis, Routledge, CRC Press, FN Thousand Research, and Dirk Press. We publish thousands of books, ebooks collections, journal articles, and key online products each year. Our work as a leading publisher champions the knowledge, serving, connecting, and sustaining communities of scholars, instructors, and professionals. Our goal is to ensure their knowledge and expertise makes the fullest possible impact. We are part of Taylor and Francis group where together we foster human progress through knowledge. Today, we have invited a fantastic and knowledgeable panel of speakers to discuss important and essential aspects of publishing your research, open access, and the role of your individual contribution in increasing collective research output, metrics, and ranking. In fact, I would like to mention at the outset that this seminar has a significance for two obvious reasons. One, that it was beneficial for our scholars and students. Secondly, Taylor and Francis has a long reputation of making business with the University of Kashmir and even South Asia is well reputed. So with this, I would like to make a mention that we had discussed all those issues which were of serious concern. As a teacher in the university, I have encountered with such issues that are facing by departments, like when we evaluate papers of our contractual teachers who are getting appointed, we give them marks for their publications as well. And there are certain differences of opinions. Whether these are published in a reputed journals or not, whether it is a quality research or not. So keeping in view the importance of that research, I think this seminar was much needed to have because we have two technical sessions in which they will elaborate. I have seen uh, their pro projectors and other things they would highlight that they will make us to understand how you can publish nicely your research papers in the journals which are of great importance. Earlier, Respected Vice Chancellor, we had a one seminar with Elsevier Science Direct as well, who, which was very beneficial for our students and we had a very rich back, uh, feedback from our students, such seminars need to be conducted. For that, I asked my senior librarian to make a registration so that our scholars will join our PG students who are preparing for NET and who are at their master's level, now they are conscious of the fact that we need to publish our papers that will count for their uh, further job, whatever they, or publication for which is very important. So I think Taylor and Francis makes us to understand that or through discussion, debate, we have been able to understand that their objective is to uh, make aware all those who are stakeholders in the universities. Now, objectives of this seminar is to understand research metrics and ranking. That was the first that they would like to debate on this. To acquaint faculty members, research scholars, and students with new and emerging scholarly open access resources of different publishers. Now, third is to aware the researchers about different media in order to avoid barriers to scholarly communication, direct access with through communication. And then to highlight the role of libraries in connecting the research scholars and students with quality communication resources and channels of publications. And then to provide insights on various referencing tools, which is very equally very important for our researchers. To understand publishing, copyright, open data policies and ethics of publishing, uh, uh, publishing at start. So I, with these things, I am quite optimistic that today's workshop will certainly benefit our scholars, our students, and our faculty members because it's empirical study which has been made by Taylor and Francis, who have we have invited resource persons as well that who could deliberate upon the issues 
uh, threat bear and we will reach to a conclusion where at the end we will see that we have got something which is beneficial for our students. A little bit about Taylor and France, as you already heard. As you know, we are one of the biggest uh, academic publishers in the world. We do over 7,000 books. Uh, we have a backlist of 160,000 titles. We publish uh, 2,600 journals, an increasing portfolio of open access journals, which I know is very uh, relevant and of interest to this audience. We have over 200 open access journals at the moment, and it's growing. Um, TNF in India is going to celebrate 25 years next year uh, and across globally and across the world including India we publish in the humanities and social sciences and in the pure sciences, uh, engineering, technology, medicine, all areas I know of great relevance and importance to the university uh, as well. You'll be uh, interested to know, I hope, that about now about 20% of the global output of books in science and technology uh, and engineering in, in the global portfolio of Taylor and Francis comes from India. So these are Indian scholars who built, uh, wor uh, you know, uh, producing world-class research which is traveling uh, uh, widely, being cited, being visible, and we're proud to be partners in that endeavor. Uh, and in that, I feel that we, we have a strong synergy, synergy with the university. I was looking at some numbers and uh, not to actually, uh, you probably know this better than me, but in the last six years, the university's research out output has grown 200%. The University of Kashmir's research output has grown 200%, which is an amazing, uh, I mean, something uh, the university management, the vice chancellor and all of you uh, must be very proud of. And we are, uh, and about 20, 25 percent of that output is in open research, uh, uh, which I think is now the mandate to grow. The most important, as I said, the most important people in this whole, the stakeholders, in, is all of you. And our focus as publishers is on researchers, on faculty, on uh, publishing authors, authors wanting to publish. Uh, and what is this about? Uh, it's about choices, so what are your options, what are the various, besides the traditional publishing formats, what are the other formats that you can, it's about uh, uh, research speed, how you can get that out faster, it's about quality, we, uh, there was a mention of research ethics, in, in your registration bags you will see that there's a booklet on publishing ethics that we have specially created for this audience, whether you are a researcher, a faculty member, a librarian, or indeed management. Why is publishing ethics important and how you can make that uh, world class? What are the tools, what are the techniques, what are the products and services that we have to offer you in the open access space, in the traditional publishing space? Most importantly for researchers and for uh, publishers and for anybody in the research ecosystem in this part of the world, uh, we are fighting against editorial biases, again, Western uh, sort of notions, stereotypes, and that is something uh, that we can by enabling researchers here to be world class and yet publishing research which is relevant to local and regional, but of quality which can travel anywhere. Uh, uh, that is where the partnership is. That is what we want to enable. That is what my mission as an academic publisher of 25 years standing is. Taylor and uh, Francis is a name in itself. And uh, once we land in the higher education, particularly when we come to the college or university level, we always go through the books which carry the name of Taylor and Francis. As Ms. Natasha already told that this is the biggest publishing house in the world as on date. And uh, I hope that we all should uh, take benefit and advantage of this interaction with them. Uh, because the uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor also knows that when we, uh, we at University of Kashmir, slightly we need to extend our, this is my request to Honorable Vice Chancellor also, that in University of Kashmir we normally, first day we just acquaint ourselves with the, uh, with, with the event or with the workshop. Then the, uh, then the news goes to the campus that some workshop is being conducted at the University of Kashmir. I wish that um, because, uh, because very recently we had uh, undertaken the different uh, promotional interviews for under CAS 
and where we have seen what uh, Professor Richard Sahib was also saying that we have seen a lot of publications, lot lot of publications. Some some teachers cross even hundred publications, but good. I I will not I will not say all the teachers, but a maximum number of the uh, faculty members, particularly the young ones. I don't know whether they are after the publication or not, but uh, we see that good number of publications are in those uh, journals or in, or those publishing houses which ultimately uh, give you nothing. Our experts, our vice chancellor, or the other people who are uh, interviewing the uh, interviewing the candidates, they normally uh, normally convey them such things, but. Uh, I don't know, probably there is a less awareness on part of us that where to publish and how to publish. I'm really grateful to Taylor and Francis. Uh, we welcome uh, the managing director, uh, Natasha Devasar. I was just listening uh, to her speech uh, and it's uh, such an encouraging uh, statement that our research at University of Kashmir has increased uh, 200 uh, percent in publication uh, and I'm sure by today's uh, training uh, we will improve uh, more you know uh, as I see it's a very important uh, program and I was going through the schedule where I uh, you know I'm very happy that uh, we have some resource persons from Igbal library and our own uh, faculty also uh, some very important topics. They are dealing with very uh, important topics. As my earlier speaker said, that besides traditional uh, publishing of our research articles, uh, we have to see how we can publish uh, our uh, research in open access journals, uh, in which we have to be trained and we have to know uh, where to publish it in good journals. Uh, our Red Star, uh, you know, uh, addressed to some of the issues which we noticed uh, in the interviews. Uh, that's true, and uh, I'm sure uh, our team today will uh, really train you uh, about the best journals where you can publish your articles. Time and again, uh, faculty has to uh, improve, faculty has to face various interviews and our research scholars have to publish their data, they have to publish books. So I think it's a very serious uh, exercise today uh, and I hope all our scholars, PhD uh, scholars, PhD uh, scholars, other scholars, our faculty is uh, benefited by it. Uh, I was also uh, listening to uh, Natasha ji, uh, you know, how well uh, Taylor and Francis is doing uh, in India, uh, how uh, our uh, books are being, uh, you know, uh, read by other people all over the world. I'm sure uh, when they train our students here, our research scholars here, our faculty over here, they'll publish their journals in very book, in very good uh, journals and definitely as uh, Red Star was saying that we have to see uh, the H index, we have to see the impact factor, we'll really address to these uh, issues. Uh, I'm happy that in some of the sessions you have given enough time for question answer sessions. I think that's what needed to see the doubts if our scholars have and we have to uh, clear them.